Hey everyone, Sky here to discuss Star Trek Insurrection, starring Patrick Stewart, Jonathan Franks, or Frakes, excuse me, Brent Spiner, LeVar Burton, Michael Dorn, Gates McFadden, Marina Sirtis, F. Murray Abraham, Donna Murphy, and Anthony Zerby, and directed by Jonathan Frakes. Now, before I get into this movie, I remember going to the movie theaters when I was about, eh, if memory serves me right, around nine years old with my mother and my grandfather who who was the who and those two were bigger Star Trek fans and than I was at this point because I didn't know too much about them but and I the only thing I remember about this movie was that scene in the fountain and I don't know uh, any more about what the movie was about because I couldn't follow it very well so let's get into the movie shall we the movie opens with a beautiful garden and children playing with, with hay, the horse's food, I'll say. I don't know if it's food, but I don't know what it is. And the town looking pleasant until some men in suits lead by, led by Data, returned by Brent Spiner, turns against the town and shoots Starfleet. And I didn't understand why that happened. Captain Jean-Luc Picard, returned by Patrick Stewart, is joined by Riker. Returned by Jonathan Freaks, Beverly Crusher, returned by Gates McFadden, and Troy, returned by Marina Sirtis. Arrive at a dinner ceremony, and Geordi, returned by LeVar Burton, tells Picard an urgent message regarding Data being in trouble. And I changed my mind about how I feel about these characters from the next generation. When reviewing Star Trek Generations, I said I like the characters, but I wish they were in a better movies. Now, I don't have a choice. But, now, I don't like these characters, and their movies are failing to tell me what the hell is going on and why I should care, because I don't. Picard lands on the garden planet and try to rescue Data, but is captured by... And Riker wants to get back together with Troy, had a relationship on the TV show, and they are taking a break for how long? I hope... Well, I heard that the TV show, they do they are together, so I'm going to skip that far ahead. They get Data back to normal and go back to the planet. And people are afraid of him because he attacked them in this movie. Is, a messy as, is as messy as First Contact is. Picard and Data take Anij, I think that's her name, played by Donna Murphy, to another land on their planet and they shoot a bad guy and Anij can't swim. That's the scene I was talking about earlier. <coughs> so Picard and Dana save Anish, which seemed rather odd. Meanwhile, War because remember, Picard's the one that pushed her in the water. Meanwhile, Worf, returned by Michael Dorn, has some zit-looking thing, which is unnecessary as far as Star Trek goes. Picard tells Anish, <coughs> excuse me, and her village, and is anyone buying their relationship between Picard and Anish? Because I didn't, because they have no chemistry whatsoever. Picard and the crew go back to the planet. Meanwhile, Ruafo, I don't know if I'm saying it right, played by F. Mary Abraham, and Picard gets the village people out of, with the Enterprise, with Ruafo's crew attacking the village, and they get out safely. And during daytime, and Data t talks with the child about what his programs are and versus how to be a child. And the problem for a robot is, how can Data play for fun? That is questionable thing. That is a questionable thing for a robot. Ruafo attacks once again, and the Enterprise is under attack. And why attack at a random time? Oh, I know. Because they're evil. And I don't accept that. How is that acceptable at this point? This is the point where I don't understand this movie or its plot. That was the problem with First Contact. And certainly a problem with here in Insurrection. Is that I don't follow this plot because it makes no sense. Picard tries to keep Anish alive. But she fortunately does make it. And half of the village with Anish and Picard are on board on Ruafo's ship as he would kill his own people and again it makes no sense. Raffles one guard takes Picard downstairs 
and Picard negotiates with the bot with the bad guy, and the bad guy's ship gets attacked. Picard gets beamed into Ruffle's ship to attack and fight him one last time and blow up his ship, and they get back to the village. They go back to the Enterprise, and I could really care less at this point. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 1.9 out of 10. I don't understand this plot as it makes no sense. I don't like any of these characters as they're very boring. And I have one more movie to go with them. It's still slightly better than First Contact, but I still don't like this movie. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me, and I will be back next week with Star Trek Nemesis. And until next time, punch it.